So this chicken called Pum Pum falls in love, love with the new girl in class called Aiko. Aiko's kind of a psycho and doesn't have the best family life, so she demands Pum Pum to feed in the meanwhile, Pum Pum's parents separate because his father is a piece of shit, but his mother is also a piece of shit, and everyone in this manga is a piece of shit. And his uncle starts living with them. Pum Pum and the boys venture off to an abandoned factory because of this porno and almost fucking die in fire. Peace in my brain. Just Pumpun couldn't leave to Kagoshima on the day he had promised, and Aiko gets really sad, so Pumpun starts avoiding her because he's afraid she'll kill him. Summer break was anticlimactic, Pumpun is in middle school. And he's holy. Does anyone wanna fuck? Pumpun yeets himself off a flight of stairs and becomes an adult. Two years later, Aiko has a boyfriend. <laughs> It takes Pum Pum's uncle like 10 chapters to get a girlfriend, it's pretty wholesome. Aiko's boyfriend breaks a foot while playing tennis or something, and Pum Pum sees this as a perfect opportunity to hold Aiko's hand, the sneaky bugger. And then he just walks away and doesn't talk to her for like another 5 or 4 years or something. A lot happens during those years though. Pum Pum graduates middle school, Pum Pum graduates high school, riveting. Also his mom dies, he gets a part time job, moves out, attempts, makes a bunch of new friends, tries to make a manga with one of them, but the manga studio is like oh no, this shit is too real fam. Pum Pum goes full fucking Evangelion. Zan Goku no Tenshi no Yoni Shonen Yoshin wa ni nare yeah, I stole this joke from user Giupolo Lupolo. Uh, shout out to the Oyasumi Pum Pum subreddit. There's some really fucking funny, creative, cool shit on there. So if you're into Pum Pum, if you have a Reddit account, go check it out. Oh, and by the way, I basically skipped through most of the Pegasus chapters, so I don't know if he's relevant in any way, shape, or form. Oops, sorry, not sorry. Good vibrations. Good vibrations. Good vibrations. Vibrations. Pum Pum's like, hey, oh, my neighbor is kind of a fucking Chad. Let me jerk off and become him. And he turns into a straight up fuck boy. Manga girl is pregnant with her ex's baby, apparently, but we don't care about that because. I kills return, I said, I kills return. So like, why are we hyped about this? Pum Pum and Aiko have some coffee, Pum Pum grows another pair of eyes, as you do, they go on some dates, fuck like rabbits, stab Aiko's abusive, manipulative ass mother to death, hide the body and flee to Kagoshima. You know, it's the standard middle school reunion aesthetic. In the process of their little field trip, Pum Pum goes hella psycho. Pum Pum was always kind of on that edge, tipping back and forth between like, being fucking insane and being just kind of a sweet little boy. But now he just fucking dives straight off into the deep end. No chill. The lovebirds are kind of low on cash and Aiko gets hungry so... Yep! What the fuck is going on? And what happens next is something that I'm actually not fucking comfortable trying to make any sort of jokes about. If you've read it, you know you know what happens. Basically, Aiko is no longer with us and Pum Pum just kind of has to carry the weight of that fact. Pum Pum gets taken in by the police because some fuck said it was nice to pick and he gets put on probation. Pro Wait, is probation the right word? And nothing in his life has really changed. Did, did, this, did this stabbing really even like matter? What is this? 